Good morning, church. Can you say good morning to the people around you? God is good. And all the time. Raise the roof. So, church, you know, in the United States, we our bishops has called us to a three-year journey of much deeper appreciation of the Eucharist. A three-year journey. And that's why here in the parish, we are starting, you know, several homily series with regarding the Eucharist, and we'll start with our great St. Walter School. If you notice, uh, Julie, can we have the first slide? The name of this Eucharist, the first one, the Eucharist series, Jesus, Our Life. Can we read this together? Eucharist series, Jesus, Our Life. One more time. So when I say Eucharist series, you're going to scream, Jesus, Our Life. Eucharist series. Yeah! Uh, a, a little bit, uh, not too loud. <laughs> you guys are full of life today. Eucharist series. Yeah! And you know what? The word Eucharist means thanksgiving. And so when I say Eucharist series, Jesus, our life, you go like this. Huh? G Eucharist series. Okay, one more time. Eucharist series. So in the next weeks, we're going to have four of these. Next slide, please. Uh, a presentation to you. The first week is going to be meal, second week, sacrifice, third, real presence, fourth, transubstantiation. Ooh, that's a big word. <laughs> so, week one, what? Meal. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Okay, let me see if you can pronounce this word. W number four. Whoa! How did you guys do that? That's awesome! That's awesome! So, today, we are going to discuss about Eucharist as meal. Eucharist as meal. How many of you love eating? I raised my two hands because I love eating <laughs> so much. How many of you love eating with friends? How many of you love eating with your family? Some of you love eating with your pets. Raise up your hand. <laughs> Why do you love eating with friends and family? Tell me. Why do you love eating with your friends and family? Stand up. Stand up. You get to talk to them. Yes, stand up. Because you like to eat with the people that you love. That is awesome. Yes, stand up. So you get to stay with the people that you love. Wow. Why do you like eating with your friends and family? Yes. Because sometimes it gets so funny, right? Yes. Why do you like to eat with your family and friends? <laughs> your dad loves to make ribs. How many of you love ribs? I love ribs. Come on, what else? Why do you love to eat with your family and friends? Yes, that, yes. Because you all love chicken nuggets. Oh, how many of you love chicken nuggets? You know, remember, remember the, uh, uh, the last mass we had, I mentioned to you how I went back to the Philippines and I had my first meal with my mom and with my sister and with my niece and with my nephew and with my brother-in-law. And I was just so happy. I was just so happy. And ask me why. Because I felt I belong. I belong. 
I felt that I belong in that space, in that unit, in that relationship in which I don't need to be a priest, I don't need to be a pastor, I don't need to be a boy, I, 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 I just need to be me. You know, that's why I love eating with my family, because I can be me. I feel I belong. You know, when Jesus, the gospel today, talked about the Last Supper, when Jesus had this meal with his friends, he was telling them, you belong here. You belong to the family of God. This is the table of my father. And I'm inviting you to the table of my father. And, and you know what? What, what? what was so amazing about this is that he knew, because he's a God, that there is that one person who's going to hate him so much that he would betray him. So much so that he would be killed in the next 24 hours. But yet, he even, by inviting Judas to be there around the table, telling Judas, hey, even you belong here around the table. So no wonder Sunday after Sunday, when we gather together as a family with this Eucharist, this means Thanksgiving, Jesus is telling all of us, here you belong. You don't need to be good. You don't even need to be bad. You don't even to be, have a role in life, a mother or a father or an engineer or a principal or a teacher. You simply belong because you are family. And how many of you are so thankful that you have a family? Right? Right? That, that, that I don't need to perform in front of my family. I don't need to be Father Mario in front of my family. I just need to be Mario. And here, God feeds me around the Eucharistic meal. Can you tell the person sitting beside you, you belong? Another person. Can we bow our heads in prayer? Bow our heads in prayer. Can we have our hands by our heart and say these words, Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of the Eucharist, for the gift of this wonderful meal, for always inviting me around the table to be your family, to be your friend. Give me the grace to always say thank you that this is a meal in which I belong. In your sweet name I pray. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is good. And all the time, raise the roof. What was I supposed to say in which you do this? Eucharist. Eucharist series. See, Father Mario is getting old. <laughs> Take care, everyone.